everyone, so today I'm going to do a review for you guys on some hair dyes that I have used over the years. Um, I have some just le I've had left over for ages and just ones that are half empty um, that I plan on using in future. But um, I just wanted to do a quick review on some of the different kinds of hair dyes that I've used and the different companies that I've bought them from. Because I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me who's good and who's bad and what like companies stay away from and stuff like that. Um, there's no companies that I think are really really bad but there's some I think are better than others. So um, I've tried and tested a lot of these things and I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them. First of all I apologise if my lighting is a little bit weird. Um, it's really really dark outside and like winter is coming and all that kind of thing. <laughs> and, uh, the lighting is so bad like it's literally like one o'clock one o'clock in the day right now and it's like so dark. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with the hair dye that I use currently, and that is Carnation Pink by Directions Lariche. This is it. And this is actually an, an, an unopened tube that I have right now. And there it is. And basically, this on its own is really, really powerful. Like, it's a really vibrant pink. It's lovely. It looks really pretty. Um, just Google Carnation Pink Directions and you'll find loads of images with people who have diluted it and who have just put it in as it is so you can see the variations um, but mine is really really diluted and this is it super diluted so you can only really imagine what's like full on pink um, I'll tell you guys what I do just in case you want to know um, what I do is I get a mixing bowl like this just a regular mixing bowl and what I do is I use this Tresemme Naturals it's silicone free and it's just kind of more natural than a lot of conditioners out there and what I do is I just put in a bit in here and then I get a dollop of the carnation pink and I put it in with this and then I just use one of these brushes and I just mix it together and then how I apply it is I usually what I would usually do is I would wash my hair and I towel dry it so it's slightly damp and then I would take the solution that I mixed and I would just kind of do this and when I get closer and closer to the top I would just flick it so it's not like a straight line you know what I mean like I just kind of flick it about and that's basically what I do, like, I know there's like a lot more professional ways to do it, but like, I have to do this like twice a week or so, like, depending on how often I wash my hair, and it's qu quite a time-consuming process, like, I can't just wash my hair and go most of the time, like, it takes time for me to actually apply this, because it will wash out and fade really, really fast. And um, this is it freshly dyed, so this is it at its brightest, really. Um, but what I really like about Carnation Pink is, it lasts ages for me because I dilute it and um, since I've dyed my hair this colour I've only used one and a half tubs so far which is like barely any really when you think about it and um, I only use a small bit of this so like it's not like a really really like heavy solution of um, dye it's just really light it's, it's basically like conditioning my ends um, what I really love about Directions, I would say Directions are my favourite colourful hair dye brand. Um, they're just, they're really great, like the size is cool as well. It's not great if, in a way, if you have really long hair, it recommends that you buy two tubs of this. Um, which is a bit crap if you are like trying to get a vibrant, vibrant colour. It's quite costly to have colourful hair, it really, really is. And um, like, you know when you see those people with the rainbow hair, I'm like, holy balls mate, like how do you afford rainbow hair? Like <laughs> it'd be so expensive. But um, I would recommend Direction specifically also if you're trying to get pastel hair because they're really, really good and the colours are really vibrant even when they are pastel and it just look, it gives a really nice colour to your hair and I just, I think these are awesome, like Directions are such a cool brand and um, all their colours are really pretty but I will, I had give you guys one top tip that I will think that will help you if you're buying Directions and um, specifically if you want to get pastel hair. Um, when I saw when I wanted to dye my hair pastel pink, they actually have a pastel pink color, okay? But when I seen it on the swatch, it was really salmony. Like it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Like I didn't like it. I didn't think it looked nice. So my option to give to you guys, which I think is also really good for getting the most out of your money, is buy a darker color and just dilute it. Because if you're buying a pastel colour, you're just applying and applying and it's going to go so fast. But if you're diluting a colour, you're going to get twice as long out of it. So um, if you want to use pastel pink, um, I recommend that you go for the carnation pink instead and just dilute it. It will save you so much. I wholeheartedly recommend Directions if you do want to dye your hair a bright colour. They're a fantastic brand. Um, if you're living in Dublin, I suggest that you buy these in George's Arcade. They're slightly cheaper in George's Arcade than anywhere else in Dublin. 
And um, you can buy them online, you can buy them in packs as well. I bought them off the internet in packs, which is really, really handy, especially if you want to load up. Um, and yeah, check out the website, they do run really cool competitions. Um, I actually won one this year, and um, I went to Wireless Festival with my friend, and it was so awesome, I didn't expect to win at all. Um, so it's a really nice reward, basically, for being a loyal fan of Directions for so many years. But um, definitely recommend Directions, guys, check them out. By the way, I've also used the Turquoise by Directions, and it looks so scary when it's in the tub. Like, does not look really weird? Like, that does not look turquoise at all. It just looks like a, a weird ass colour, it looks gloomy as fuck. But um, that's the one I used in my hair when I dyed my hair tur turquoise. Um, I'll leave a picture for you guys right now because I did not dilute that at all. Um, so the picture is really, really true to life of what the colour comes out as. The next hair dye company that I really like is Stargazer. Um, this is a really old one I had from when I had my hair pink. This is Magenta. Hopefully you can see. Um, this is seriously like really, really pink. Um, this is the brightest pink I have ever seen. So if you want to dye your hair like a really crazy pink, I would recommend Stargazer Magenta because it's such a cool color. Like it's really class. I just, I love it so much. Um, I'll leave a picture here as well so you guys can see what it looks like. But this color was my first experience with a really bright color. Like I dyed my hair completely pink. And um, I love this stuff. This stuff is great. I really enjoy it. Um, it is also semi-permanent, I believe. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is semi-permanent. Um, you're supposed to leave it in for 15 to 30 minutes and rinse thoroughly. Um, all these dyes recommend that you dampen your hair first. You don't just apply it on like dry hair. You're, you're supposed to towel dry your hair basically and then apply it. Um, what's also really cool about a lot of these ones is they're really conditioning. And um, I just think Stargazer are a really cool company. Um, I'm pretty sure I have used other dyes by Stargazer, I just can't remember what they are. But um, if you want to dye your hair pink, I seriously recommend Magenta. Um, Stargazer is also a slightly bit more expensive than Directions. It is about, I think it's like 10 or 11 euros from what I can remember. And let's see, let's compare the milliliters. This is 70 milliliters right here. And this one is 88 milliliters, so you're actually getting more for your money with um, Directions than you are um, Stargazer. So um, I guess you could really weigh that depending on which colour you liked best. The next company is Special Effects. Um, this colour right here is Wildflower. And hopefully that's what it looks like, hopefully you guys can see. Um, this is the one, as you can see, it's like half empty. This is the one that I used when I had my lavender hair. Um, so I diluted this, so I'm not sure exactly what it looks like full-on purple, but um, I've seen pictures of it and it's really, really nice colour. Um, but this is what I use, um, I diluted it, I basically did the same with the bowl and the conditioner and I diluted it and I added it to my hair. And um, I really like this colour, it's really it's a lovely vibrant colour, like if you want the pastel lavender, it's a really nice colour. Um, Special effects is really cool, like they last ages, like I had six of these I think and I never bought any more, like, like as long as I had purple hair, like that was the only colour I ever used, like I had six of these and I had my hair purple for like forever, like seriously, I don't know, like these last me ages, like I think they're really cool, it's a really cool company and look at their packaging, it's like really nice as well. Um, the only drawback is you probably will have to buy it online if you're from Europe and I can't exactly remember the price because I bought it in bulk. But um, I would recommend if you do dye your hair a lot and you know for a fact that you're going to stick to a colour, I would recommend buying these hair dyes in bulk because sometimes you can get a discount. The next company that I tried out that I don't actually have a sample to show you guys is Manic Panic. Um, I used a pink dye by them, I actually can't remember, it was so long ago, um, it was when I was actually trying to find something a bit cheaper than the Stargazer, and I really didn't like Manic Panic, um, isn't that weird because like, so many people love Manic Panic, um, it's an American brand I think, you can, it's really difficult to get over here, like I had to buy it online, and I bought like, I think I bought like a tub or two tubs of the pink, one of the pink colours, and I really didn't like it, I don't know why, I just think it didn't take to my hair very well, but um, that could just be me personally. I know a lot of people who do like Manic Panic, but personally the company 
didn't suit my needs like I prefer directions like directions all the way that's my recommendation to you guys directions are really cool yeah if you guys have any recommendations down below just share comments and help each other and um, if you do like manic panic let me know I'd like to know what colors are really good and um, yeah, I hope this was helpful at all to you guys. Um, I just thought I'd talk about it because I get a lot of questions about what hair dyes I use. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to y'all there.